Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly forecast for July 15th through the 21st. We're continuing with our ocean theme for the summer with our decor and another nice little mermaid deck here. We're going to see what's coming up in this Mercury retrograde full moon in Capricorn week ahead. Uh, it's a full moon in your sign Capricorn. We're going to see what's coming up for you. Capricorn sun, moon and rising. And after we take a look at your weekly forecast with this lovely mermaid deck, we're going to go ahead and pull a spirit message for you from a different deck uh, that I have not used on this channel, which is awesome because there's also going to be a little like homework assignment for you for those of you who are trying to like increase your intuition or bring in some healing. So um, that'll be great if you stick around for that. Oh, Capricorn, nice. You've got Water Flight coming up in your Monday, Tuesday. I love this card. It's a beautiful card. Um, so the message here with Water Flight is that there's going to be some really fast upward movement in your life, like, like, like an upward spiral. We've all heard of the phrase downward spiral, and none of us want it. Right, But there's this upward spiral coming in for you, Capricorn, Monday, Tuesday. Now, it doesn't surprise me because Tuesday is the full moon in Capricorn. And this is going to be a full moon where a lot of us are changing things about our structure um, and taking action. Now, that's been an ongoing theme for the last few uh, like full moons that we've had. Uh, but in different areas of our life. And so with the Capricorn full moon in Capricorn... A lot of it is going to be about making changes to the structure of our life. Like um, what we put first, where we're putting our energy, where we're putting our focus. You know, taking action in ways where we're going to be able to um, work smarter, not harder. And, um, you know, unpack the things that have been slowing us down or holding us down. Uh, like with this water flight, you know, she's just, she's taken off. She's, she's, you know, really soaring through this water in a way where um, she's going to be able to move very quickly without any obstacles or things in her way. Um, so the whales are very significant for me too as well in this card. Those of you who watch my videos, you know, I read intuitively like the pictures and the images that jump out at me so I invite you to do the same as you're looking at the card which jumping out at you what does it mean to you for me wells have to do with deep healing of the subconscious um very very deep release in terms of uh things that have been buried for a very long time so Capricorn a lot of you who've been weighed down with certain obligations or guilt or responsibilities or other people's or other people's drama that you've been carrying on your shoulder for a long time. Uh, sometimes we do that. Sometimes we don't have just our baggage. We carry on other people's baggage with us as well. You're going to be unpacking a lot of that. And it's like, you know, if you were to have this big old, you know, heavy, like old timey ball and chain tied against your ankle for like, you know, weeks or months or for a year... You can't walk very fast because you're dragging that big heavy thing behind you. But the second that gets cut off, if it were to be removed from your ankle, you're going to move with such ease and such speed that like it's going to feel like your, your leg is floating in the air practically, right? Because you don't have that same weight anymore. So once this thing is released from you, you're going to feel this instant upward energy shift you're going to feel this instant um feeling of like it's just whatever was blocking you is gone you're going to feel very uh light very confident very 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 um uh everything's been very clear like there's gonna be clarity that comes in with this and the full moon is excellent for releasing as it is so um, there's going to be a lot that you're releasing, even if maybe you're not doing like a full moon ritual or a full moon release, you're still going to be releasing a lot in this energy uh, Monday, Tuesday, where you're really able to get rid of a lot of the deep subconscious things, you know, other people's things and be able to um, not feel burdened down or weighted down anymore. Your Wednesday, Thursday card Capricorn is 
time out awareness contemplation solitude and time alone so as you're realizing these things uh you might be needing some time midweek to process them now this is like interesting to me because um i'm noticing here like the look on her face she doesn't look happy she looks a little bit upset that's just to me you guys maybe look at her and maybe you see her in a different way but she seems a little bit upset here and um this dragon is like or this sea creature the sea monster is kind of like at her beckoning call here is this a ship or is this an actual let me see here nope it looks like there's a ship, but it looks like the dragon or the sea creature is separate from the ship, if you see that. Um, feels like this monster is maybe at her beckoning call here. And she might be upset. She might be a little bit angry, but she might be taking a time out before she does anything crazy or uh, irrational. So some of you are realizing that there, there might be something here where you have a right to be upset. Um, and some of you are taking a moment before you lash out where you're trying to process or release. Um, some of you are angry because you're realizing certain things were said or done uh, that was causing you to hold on to situations that were slowing you down or blocking you in your life. And now that you know what they are and you're releasing them so that you can have this upward flight, um, you know, Wednesday, Thursday some of you there's still some little pieces that are lingering that maybe are a little difficult to let go and you take time to process it and to release it and to let it go or to just kind of recuperate from the release you have to understand something guys and i think capricorn the reason why this is coming up is you might be feeling this full moon very intensely um i don't know too many capricorns who are what i call moon sensitive Moon sensitive are people who really, really get very tired or weighed down by the moon energy. Like if it's a full moon, they'll feel very exhausted or they'll feel very emotional or irritable. Um, now, that's not to say that no Capricorns are ever moon sensitive. I'm sure, I'm sure there are moon sensitive Capricorns. Um, but typically with like earth signs, you know, the earth signs that I have known maybe are not as moon sensitive as like a water sign, okay? Um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't, you know, earth signs who are moon sensitive. So for those of you who typically are not moon sensitive, this might be a very interesting experience for you. You might be feeling it a lot more um, than that than other times or other full moons. And it, it, is a, it is a full moon in your sign too, and that could be a big part of it. Um, again, I'm not an astrology expert by any means, but from the energy of the reading, it just seems like you're needing time to process this. You might also be taking a time out because you're just tired. Like you're just, you're exhausted. I feel that a lot of you leading up to this week have taken a lot of really big steps that you wouldn't have taken before. Like you took certain leaps of faith or you took certain steps where you went out on a limb or you did things a little bit differently. And now coming into this week, there's going to be a big release. That can be very exhausting on the body. And you might not be in a social mood. And you might not be in a place where you have a lot of energy. Or you might be in a place where you're feeling a little bit crabby or upset and you're needing to release. Don't take this as like a judgment on yourself where you're like, oh Capricorn, you're being so negative snap out of it no um we're humans we can't have happy you know butterflies kitties rainbow emotions all the time we're gonna have a whole range of emotions and some of them aren't gonna feel fun and sometimes we are gonna feel tired and sometimes we aren't gonna have energy to get up and clean the whole house and do all the laundry and you know like get everything done and you know like sometimes you're just gonna need to rest and that's okay so the message that I'm taking here midweek, you guys, is um, some of you are having to keep yourself from retaliating in some way. You're having to just kind of bite your tongue or uh, release something without confronting a person or without getting back at them because you're enlightened enough to realize that whoever 
put you in a difficult position was not enlightened and is still not enlightened and they're probably not going to have any idea what you're trying to explain to them or what you're trying to say they're still asleep and they will probably remain asleep um you know for the remainder of their days and so there's no need for you to come out with like that wrath because they don't get it right like they just they don't get it they don't understand what they did um they're just they're not at, at that point mentally spiritually emotionally where they can comprehend their wrong and so that's why i think a lot of you are just like it's not worth the energy it's not worth the explosion and you're finding a way to get closure and release it without confronting the person for some of you but all of you all of you i think are just having to be very gentle with yourself Wednesday Thursday and not push yourself too hard and not be judgmental that oh you should go out and be making friends and you should be social and you should do this and you should do that no you need a little bit of time to release at least for this week right it's temporary it'll pass then you can go right back into your go-getter energy but for the midweek guys Capricorn be gentle with yourself Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the crane bag. So again, lots of release. This is really confirming for you that there's lots of release happening for you guys with this full moon. Okay? She's got her tail behind her, but it almost looks like a moon. So again, that's confirmation that you guys are really going to be feeling this moon energy. Okay? So um, this is sacred ocean medicine. Uh, you know, clutter, decluttering and uh, choices that you're making so some of you are like really looking around and there's just things you're wanting to get rid of i think some of you are gonna be really coming into this minimalist um approach at your decor um maybe some of you are looking around and you're like man i have way too many knickknacks or i have way too many little things or it's way too busy um, or you're just, you're wanting a bigger open space. I feel like some of you are ready for a bigger open space. Especially as you're releasing a lot of the baggage. That's going to become very clear in your uh, physical space. It's really interesting because I feel Capricorn, what's happening with some of you is you're looking around and all of a sudden all these little objects in your space are making you think of a person. And then you're realizing, wow, like I'm, I'm holding on to this thing from this person that I don't even see or talk to anymore. Um, and you realize there's something about that relationship or that person that you've been holding on to that you're ready to release or forgive or, you know, whatever it might be, let go. And as you're letting that go, you're also ready now to donate items or give them away or in some case toss them or however it is you want to, you know, part ways with these things. But I do feel a lot of you are doing this massive clearing or cleansing that not only are you clearing or cleansing objects from your home environment, you're also kind of taking this trip down memory lane where you're finding a lot of closure within yourself over past uh, situations or relationships or periods in, in your time where you're just finally ready to release them once and for all. I do feel some of you who've been really stuck and having a hard time manifesting a move, this is when you're going to manifest the move. This is when it's beginning to shift or change. You are getting rid of certain objects or things or um, just clutter that has been keeping you emotionally tied to a place or a situation. And once those emotions are cleared and there's no more tie then, you know, the physical body will, will catch up and will leave and not be tied to, to the place. It's like once emotionally and mentally and spiritually you've moved on, then your, your physical body can move on, okay, and kind of like find a new place. So that's going to be happening for, for a lot of you. We're going to check out your spirit message or your, um, your, your, your spirit homework for the week. And again, guys, I strongly urge you to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others. Let's see kind of what's coming up. Um, I love this deck. Not only is the artwork gorgeous, it's really great for like soul searching, spiritual development. Like if you're trying to increase your intuition or heal or release 
each card has an awesome little um message uh or like not message but like homework like a meditation a little writing assignment so if you really wanted to get in and do some spiritual work this is a great deck for that and as always i will have the deck info um in the description of the video so you have inner revolution coming up here for your week ahead for like your your spiritual work now we see all this light, you know, kind of coming through, shining through. So light obviously is healing. It's revelation. It's being able to see. Um, there's something here too in this card where something about it to me. And again, this is where you're going to need to really, really, really see what jumps out at you and the way the shapes and colors speak to you because we're all different. And you might see something that's a very specific message for you. For me, when I look at this card, it it looks like a like a steering wheel for a boat or a ship, like an old piratey uh, boat steering wheel. Um, I don't know if any of you see that. I just the way it's looking at me. Something about the the way the the light is also spreading out makes me think of a compass, like an old timey compass. So to me, this is where your inner revolution is happening. It's happening where a lot of you are changing course. A lot of you have been holding on to some kind of big goal or big dream that maybe was like the ego telling you you had to accomplish this goal in order to be like worth anything. And now you're having this inner revolution. You're realizing, you know what? Man, I've been a slave to this unnecessary ideal where I've put so much pressure on myself for a very long time. And it's absolutely unnecessary. There's no reason I have to accomplish this quote unquote goal. Now I see it was more just me trying to validate myself in an unnecessary way, right? So there could be a big, big relief that's coming for many of you. Also, like, you know, your, your value system, your structure is changing as a process as well. But just kind of your whole ideas, your whole way of looking at things, your whole priorities, uh, that which you're wanting to work towards in your future. A lot of you are experiencing a really massive shift this week. We're going to go ahead and take a look at your spiritual homework that comes with this card. And again, my dears, um, this is really great if you want to do some clearing and some healing. So card number 42 is the inward revolution. There's a meditation too, but the medita meditation is kind of long, so I'm not reading that. I'm doing the other um, assignments. So you have inspired reflection and actions to take. Um, this is inviting you to um, dance in a spinning spiral. Just like the whirling dervishes, whose dance is symbolic of the cosmic dance of the universe. I don't know if any of you have seen the whirling dervishes. Um, it's a form of mysticism. Uh, it's but it's also it's it's like a Muslim mysticism. And I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I'm not like telling you to convert. I'm not telling you like to go be in another religion. But they have this very beautiful dance where they spin. 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 Um, and so it's this, it's, it's symbolic of like the, the creation energy, uh, the, the, the energy of the universe and the creation. So that is something that, you know, maybe you can just do if it resonates with you. If not, the next one here is saying paint spirals, draw spirals, make spiral mosaics, use any media or medium that appeals to you to create spirals. And imagine the controls of your mind loosening with each curve. So maybe focus on that spiral pattern. Um, like it said, paint or, or draw spirals. Um, that could be stimulating or opening up your, your mental um, chakra or like your, your crown chakra, your, your, your mental energy um, to help get the thought process going in a higher vibration as you're going through this inward revolution and as you're kind of changing your thought process towards yourself and your future. Your journal work here is draw or write about three emotional or physical patterns that you have repeated in your life. Then draw or write about something new you learned 
about yourself with each revolution. So sometimes we get like really upset and we beat ourselves up because we're like, oh, this happened to me again. Like, when am I going to come out of this pattern? Like, why does this keep happening? When am I going to break out of this? So I kind of really like this assignment because it's saying if you write about this thing that happened to you a few times, and if you write what you learned each time, then you don't feel so bad about it because you're like, okay, well, when the first time happened, this is what I learned. And when the second time it happened, this is what I learned. And when the third time happened, this is what I returned, what I learned. And chances are, if you write it down, it's giving you a chance to really connect with the situation to where you're going to have an even bigger epiphany to where you're not going to have to repeat it a fourth time. Okay, so that's really great. Uh, again, guys, check out your moon sign and rising sign because maybe you might want to do the homework in that one too. Um, especially since you guys are in this moon energy. Maybe your moon sign might be affecting you this week. Or you might just want to get some extra little tidbits of information. Um, some weeks it resonates more. If you wanted more love stuff, guys, you can click on the love reading links in the description. And if you'd like a private reading, you can click on the Calendly link in the description. And it will take you to all the info you need, my darlings. All of the reading options, the prices, how to schedule. It's all there in the Calendly link. Um, and guys, don't forget, every single day, I post a card of the day. I post a pick a card. So you really can get two card a day messages on the social media facebook and instagram amethyst angelite you don't have to message me to ask me how you can get the messages the messages are posted on the page every morning i post a card with a message and every afternoon i post a pick a card where you pick the card that you're drawn to and the next day i reveal it with an explanation of the card that you picked and what it means so that is there too that's fun to do in between the weekly videos take advantage of that uh, again, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Wishing you the very best.